Okay, good morning everyone. I've been doing a lot of uh, work, but finally I came to the point where I can do some videoing. So um, here I am. I've been trying out these um, rust effect stuff and it's, um, sorry to say it's not working. I don't know if any of you have some experience with it. And I'm talking about this, this brand. But whatever I do, it just will not work. So it's uh, not something that I would um, I would put my money in. It just doesn't work. And I have all the uh, all these stuff that I need. This is for the patina effect for this. Doesn't work. Then I have the uh, rust effect. That's this one. Doesn't work. And. Um, I'll, I'll check out their videos uh, later. They have videos online, see how they do it. But for me, it's not working at the moment. See here, I mixed uh, I mixed uh, some just normal turquoise paint, put some on top, nothing happened. Here, I put some uh, turquoise paint, put some on. Well, I did get a little bit of a variation in color, but absolutely not what I was expecting. This here is um, the uh, rust effect powder, and I put green uh, the the green rusty stuff on top of there. I've had it on the uh, heater to make it dry, and even this this is just like poop. Don't want the poop. Okay, rust effect brown. Let's see what this does then. So you just squirt some on, but you don't see anything happening. There is no, um, absolutely no change in color. It just dries up like that. And we have this, We I did use this, so I, I'll put some more on. There's some more. And it's soaking wet. I just put it in there, but there is no reaction whatsoever. It's just one big gooky mess. So I am absolutely, let's see, rust effect, rust effect, brown, patina effect, rust effect, yellow. Oh, we don't want yellow. Rust effect, yellowish red. Even that would be cool. But it, it just, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but there's no change in color. It just is wet and that's it. So we'll put these away. And what I'm going to do is um, put on another layer of bronze on this one. And I want the, uh, the little balls to be really, really shiny. They have to be really, really metallic-y. So that's that. And even this, I want these stripes to be nice and metallic-y too. Just going all over the place. And uh, this is pretty much not something I can really do well videoing. But that's okay, I'll get used to it. I think it's because uh, there's a little bit of a, um, I feel like I don't want to make the videos too long because some people get really bored real fast. <clears throat> but I shouldn't mind. You can always fast forward, right? Yeah. So I am going to finish this one up today because this dries pretty fast. But what I'd really like, and I'll show you what I mean, is somewhere I want... Um, I'll make my own patina look. Let's just mix this up a little. This is really old paint. This is from last week. 
last week's uh, Sunday. What I really want is to have these patina sort of colors popping through. Just to give it an illusion of um, that it's, you know, sort of working, rusty. Not too bright though. That's a little too bright, but I'm going to come back in with another color. Because the patina, what you normally see, is made up of um, a lot of shades of turquoise and green and all sorts of that kind of color. That's there. And I'd like some in between here. That's kind of nice. Then the darker color. And I will just put a little bit here in the cup. Give it a tiny little bit of water. Making it a little thinner. Uh, it's still too bright. Let's give it a little bit of green. Yeah, that's a nice pattern, pattern color. Patina. There you go. Now it's already looking like a little bit of rusty, rusty color going on. rubbing it in here and there you know just to get that really old weathered look okay that's kind of cool some spots I missed Okay, that's about it for the uh, I think I might just add one more layer just one more make a little color come through here so we'll just see how that dries up and uh, we'll might come back in with one more layer because the colors are a little bit bright but when they dry they might you know sort of go go a little bit different I hope so otherwise I'll have to let's see put this color in to mute it up a little a little bit more see where it's just a little bit too green I can always come in with a little bit of muted and it only adds to the um, to the effect of the pat patina that looks a little bit better yeah sometimes you just want to step away a little bit and then look and see if it's not too bright 
that's nice and I still want a little bit of that bright color popping off here and there that's it I'm gonna leave it just like that I'm gonna let this one dry I'll put it on the heater Now, I still have something else to show you. Uh, let's see here. Remember we had the the uh, the pours we did yesterday? I I really put them down on a uh, on the piece of paper. I didn't put them on cups. That's pretty uh, dumb. I should have done that, but we'll see. What it's about is that new product I'll show you. This is it. And don't go buying it yet, guys, because we're going to get a uh, discount code. This is it. Liquid in the interior liquid tape. Let me get you in a little bit more in focus. There you go. That's it. Tells you how to do it. Oh, I see something there. I didn't read that yet. Production of sills windows ornaments etc during sandblasting i can sandblast did you know that i like sandblasting but it makes a lot of uh, a big fat mess and it's not very healthy but i do like doing it okay we're gonna tear off this one first see how it comes off pretty easy let me get the uh the part where the sticky tape is on there There it is. Take off this part first. Ew, I hate I hate when sticky tape gets on my gloves. Okay. See how easy it is? And this this happens because I didn't put it on cups. So don't worry about that. If you put it on a cup, it'll be a nice clean uh clean Thing you'll have. Oh, this is even. <laughs> this is very zen-like. Like, it's like popping those uh, little air bubbles. <laughs> okay, I still got tape on here. There you go. And like I said again, you won't get these um, edges when you uh, put your painting on a on a cup. But I was just too busy yesterday to get all those cups in, in a row. So, but as you can see with a little razor, you can just get a nice smooth finish. There it is. Now I'm going to try this on um, canvas also because I know a lot of people uh, really hate that the back of the canvases get so... Uh, so dirty. <coughs> That's that bit. The thing that uh, we were testing is, um, for me, it was the most important part is that there is absolutely no, um, how do you call it, seepage under the uh, under this stuff. As you can see, there isn't. Absolutely not. And I was soaking at this thing, this little board, when I was doing the uh, pour. It was soaking, soaking wet. And even by putting it on the table, which is not usually not a good idea, because um, then you get more chance of it get, getting under the uh, un, on the un, underside because it, you know, it gets a little bit of pressure. So taking this bit off. But I think this is a uh, really cool product, especially if you want your canvases to stay clean on the back. I'm going to prepare a canvas just in a bit before we uh, before I do the next video. See, nice and clean. Still has the nice sides, but it is clean. Now the other one. 
the other one didn't have the paper in the middle so I did the whole back as you can see look at it how it comes off see that and this was my first time trying this stuff so I might have uh, put it on a little bit too thin who knows but it works like a charm look at that how clean And if you can use this uh, for sandblasting too, that's kind of awesome. Look how it comes off. That is cool. Just one big piece. Like I said, I do want to stress that, that this happens because I didn't put it on cups. Before anyone says, oh, but I got all those. See how, you can see how it laid on the, uh, on the paper. That's totally my fault. That's what I did. But that's gone like that. Do be careful when you're doing this with a uh, razor. A, a little bit dangerous okay I'm pretty uh, much um, convinced that this is really cool stuff to work with as you can see nothing came through still have to get one little bit off here but of course you'll be doing this much more with a you know a little bit more relaxed <laughs> i'm really just picking at it as fast as i can but when you do it i'm pretty sure you'll get an even better experience with this and remember always put your things on cups because that's much better for you the uh otherwise you get these di thick 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 sides you don't want those but there you go, nice and clean. This was the yesterday's pour, already dry, has a nice little shine going on. And already you can stick one of those things on here that you can hang it on the wall. And like I said, the boards are, in America they are so cheap. Here they're pretty expensive. If I do I buy a 20 by 20, I can buy two canvases for the price of one of these boards. So um, that's, I'm, I'm sure it's about, you know, importing and all the uh, costs that come with it from uh, sending it to uh, Holland or Europe or wherever. But there might be, maybe you, you might enjoy pouring on this instead of canvas, who knows? You know, just do what you think is best. Don't mind what I'm uh, telling you guys. <laughs> Sometimes I do have an opinion. And yesterday I, I, I had a little uh, comment made that I was nasty again. But I do have my own opinion. And if I can't voice my own opinion, then this would be like a little video show. Sometimes I'll say things that you don't like. So leave a comment about it. I don't mind. And I will explain why I say something. But I do think I am entitled to my own opinion. And if I weren't to voice it, you know, if I were just telling everyone that everything is okay and everything's fine and everything's super duper, then you wouldn't believe me after a while, right? So that's it. Okay, guys, I do want to show you one more thing. Uh, I did another one because of uh, uh, so many people said do a, a negative space. So I'm going to do the back of this. Um, I'm, I think I'll go for eggshell, something like that. Or maybe a Naples, Naples yellow. I'm not sure yet, but a very uh, light background. And then I'm going to do a pour over this. And 
I'm hoping that's going to work. But this is because you guys all asked, you know, for a uh, um, negative space thing. So I'm going to do that. And then we still have to do some more things. Oh, oh yeah, the other one. I'm going to do the other one too. Okay, see you in a bit. See you as soon as I see you. Love you all to pieces.